Hey you guys, welcome back. We are going to be doing chalkboard lettering today using chalk markers. And stick around to the end of this video because I have a special giveaway that I'm doing. So yeah, just watch the video and stick around. And um, if you like the markers, there's a chance that you could win them. And not just one of you could win, but three of you could actually win a box of these chalk markers. Thanks to VersaChalk, hollering at me to do this video. So here we go, here we go, a a a. Okay, so here, this is, <laughs> this is so interesting to me, but this is my first time using chalk paints and doing chalkboard lettering. Um, and VersaChalk sent me some of their products. So I have, this is the classic colors um, in the fine tip. And then I also have the classic colors in the bold tip. And then also this awesome chalkboard slate, which I think is so cool and beautiful. So I'm just going to play around with this for a little bit and try out some of these colors. Um, I was really drawn to these um, fine tip ones. Oh, I ripped it. Oh, rats. That was my bad. But, um, yeah. So they are non-toxic, water-based, they're wet erase, all of that stuff. But um, they're wet erase chalkboard markers, so I've never used them before. We're going to just uh, see how this goes. So it comes in these really beautiful kind of muted colors, and then they also have some that are like bold neon, but y'all know that's not my style. You know I like those muted colors. Come on. So anyway, I'm just going to start with the white because I think that's going to look really good. It's all sealed up so you don't, so it doesn't leak, which is nice. It's also going to take me a second to uh, unpack this one. I'm sorry for any background noise. I am doing laundry because I'm a normal human. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So basically all you have to do is shake it up. Oh, I forgot to dump out a color. There's this beautiful blue color in here. So pretty. Okay, so you shake it up. Put the cap on and pointing up right like this. So right like this way. Maybe I'll do like a slow motion or something. Anyway, like that. And then, so I'm going to shake it up with the top on. And then you press in the tip. I'm going to do this over to the side just to see how it goes. So I'm just going to try, try it out. Using a simple cursive style um, that I showed you guys in a previous video. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Look how like opaque that is. That looks really good. Put a little exclamation point because I'm like, yes. I see you, Versa Chalk. I see you. So anyway, it'll go on wet and then it'll dry down. That way, when, once it dries, it's not going to smear because it's wet erase. I'm just doing a little faux calligraphy here. Doing both calligraphy where you thicken the downstrokes. Wow, this goes on so easily. This is really nice. Very cool. Oh, I like this. <clears throat> I'm gonna try some of these other colors and add some accents. There's there's so many colors I don't know what to do with myself. I feel like black isn't gonna be something that I try unless I want to do like accents like within and spice up my photography a little bit, but um, I feel like we've got a lot of harvest kind of colors here, so I'll just go ahead and go for those since it's fall. Um, so I'm gonna look at this orangey color. This is a pretty green, almost like a sage. And then this burgundy is really beautiful. Sorry about the glare, I don't know what is up with this. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and take all these off.
And I'm just going to go ahead and like pump all of these so that the colors are ready. I could probably shake them all at once like this. Oh -ho. All right, so we have this orange happening right now. Let's do like um, like a shadow almost. That'll be cool. That's pretty cute. Let me add one over here. So see, I just went on all the left sides. And that was a pretty cute, kind of vibrant orange. Okay, I'm going to draw a pumpkin. Because pumpkins are cute, we're going to do it like this. Center of the pumpkin. Sides of the pumpkin. There you go. Color it in. Ooh, this might be a great opportunity to use the non-fine markers. The broad ones. One second. Ta-da! So that's significantly larger and will be easier to color things in. Dun -de -de. So what's cool about the broad tip markers are that they have a reversible tip. So one side is a chisel tip like that you see and the other side is a bullet tip just like the fine markers. Pretty neat! And you can use those different tips to achieve different looks. But since I'm just coloring in, I'm just going to use um, the bullet side. And now I noticed with this um, broad tip pen, it actually dries down to a lighter color. Like a lighter shade of that orange. It doesn't dry, like it doesn't oxidize to use makeup world terms like it doesn't um yeah that makes sense so when this is fully dry that other half that I already colored isn't going to be the same color as the rest of it but that's okay so now I'm going to come in and add some detail the little stump or stem or whatever using this fine tip green and the best part of um, the pumpkin I feel like is the stem I just think that the way you do the stem it makes it look so cute because you can add those little curly Q vines. Go on, add them. Do it. See, you guys, it doesn't get much cuter than that. Those little curly Qs, oh, they've stolen my heart. So sweet. So I'm just going to let those completely dry before I add the little jack-o'-lantern face. Or if you don't want a jack-o'-lantern face, then you can just leave it like that because it's a really cute pumpkin. But I thought, you know, might as well give that black marker a time to shine. So why not create this little pumpkin face using the black marker? So I'm just going to do the classic triangular eyes. And um, I'm going to make mine kind of a happy pumpkin jack-o'-lantern guy. Because I'm not that into spooky scary, actually. Um, I watched one horror movie once when I was probably in sixth grade and it was the worst mistake of my life and totally freaked me out. Oh, I failed. Fran, Fran, the teeth are supposed to be orange. Teeth are, the teeth are part of the pumpkin. You can fill it in. This is what's cool about using the black on black. It almost acts like an eraser. When it completely dries down, it's the exact same shade as the background. And so it's almost like you're just erasing a mistake. So I'm probably going to come back in here and draw the teeth in orange again once the black dries. There you go. Problem solved. And that's a pretty cute little jack-o'-lantern guy. He's, uh, he's chilling. He's like, trick or treat, give me candy. Well, no, it's trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Anyway. So the next thing I'm going to draw is a little bit more tricky, but it starts with this big yellow blob and it's a harvest moon. On the outside I'm going to kind of follow the curve of the moon to write Happy Halloween and just make that a little bit more bold of a font. Really simple, use your handwriting, like don't make it complicated if you don't want to. So once everything's dried, I'd add a little 
a little cloud, a little midnight cloud maybe. And then here comes the ma magic, the money magic. I'm drawing a cat. <laughs> it looks so weird, but it was so fun to draw. Okay, so we've got this cat. You know, he's like the little screechy cat. Anyway, he's lumpy. He starts with this like parabolic body shape with legs and a tail. Oh, fill in that leg. He looks miserable. Fix the one in the back. For oh, thank you. Okay. So that's kind of all I did for that. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like that's just a fun little doodle for Halloween. It's just a dumb little cat. So I drew a bunch of things. Just had a fun day of drawing. That's a ghost, by the way. That's not <clears throat> the clan. Um, and yeah, I found that it erases best with a sponge. Um, and a spray bottle, and then you kind of wipe it with a paper towel, dust off the lint, and good as new. So now we're going to make like a really big decorative design that you would probably put on display. So you can hang up this slate on a hook or on a doorknob or whatever. Um, so I'm going to start with these little spider webs. This is just a sketch on paper so I don't have to erase too much when we make the real thing. Um, and with the spider web, it kind of starts looking like an umbrella and you add all these curved lines to create the, the intricacy of the web. Spider webs are very Halloween, in case you didn't know. So yeah, it looks pretty much like that. And then I'm going to draw a little spider guy kind of just dangling down from the top of his little web coming down to say hey girl what up look at my legs look at me and it's a good thing that i'm not little miss muffet right <laughs> does anybody know about that sits on her tuffet eating her curds in a way long came a spider okay um i'm rambling now i'm gonna make the spider kind of look like he's saying trick or treat and then I'm going to use some fun hand lettering to write trick or treat. So I'm thinking probably cursive for trick. And then cross that T with the swoop of the K. That's pretty nice. I don't know if I'll keep that. It looks like it's too long. I drew one of my favorite banners um, ever. I always draw this one. It's my default. Um, and I did that to write or inside. And then treat will be written just in a normal all caps handwriting pretty good so now I'm gonna come in here and just decide what colors I'm gonna end up using so the webs will be white the spiders gonna be purple um, I'll probably write trick in orange I think that'll be pretty nice and treat will be in green just a chance for me to use all of the different colors that I I feel like using um, I feel like most of my designs are generally pretty min minimal and black and you know minimalistic kind of a style but I'm just gonna go all out with this one so I can show you guys some of the different colors that are in this alright so I've switched to using um, the other side of the slate um, because I want those edges that looks so interesting and I'm just gonna kind of do a quick time lapse and show you guys how this one ends up um, using these markers so I hope you enjoy All right, you guys, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. So let me tell you a bit about this giveaway. Um, so Versa Chalk is offering to give three of my subscribers um, a box, each of them one box <laughs> of chalk markers of their choice. So if you're interested in having a free box of chalk markers, and I mean, why wouldn't you after watching how awesome they were in this video, okay? Now I'm just gonna fall off because I'm holding up my phone like this. We'll pull over a chair so that my arm's not in pain anymore. So 
Here's how you enter this giveaway. First of all, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Second of all, you should go subscribe to my Instagram. And third of all, you should leave a comment in the comments of this video telling me your favorite thing about fall or harvest or October or anything related to that. But yeah, this giveaway will go for a whole week. So I will announce the winner next Monday. And I'll leave all these details in the description box below. Yeah, I'm really excited about this, you guys. I hope that um, you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and interesting. And um, I'm looking forward to doing more videos with these chalk markers because they can write on chalkboards, glass, mirrors, literally anything that's like a non-porous surface, they can write on it, which is really cool because it's really versatile. Um, and then there's, you know, you, you saw the video, they're awesome. So anyway, yeah, um, I hope you guys have a great week and enjoy your lives and all of that good stuff. Bye. <laughs>